everybody, welcome back in H10. My name is Guy. This show uh, is basically called Fall Home Solutions. You know, fall is here. I wish it was here a little more in Florida because it's still about 90 degrees here, but the temperature's gonna be going down. My brother was up north in Vermont. He said it's already like in the 40s when you wake up in the morning. So really, really uh, getting, getting chilly out there. And we know what that means. Leaves are gonna start falling, all that stuff. So in this hour, we have lots of really great solutions for you. Uh, you know, for any, for any reason, power failures, whatever happens, snowstorms. Uh, the first item we're gonna talk about is from Lenmar. This is our three-in-one emergency LED backup bulb. Let me tell you something, gang. This is the smartest light bulb I've ever seen. <laughs> First of all, there's a reason they call it three-in-one. It does so many different things. Justin Hyatt is here with us to tell us about it. Now, go and read the reviews on this bulb. First of all, all perfect five-star reviews. I think there's five, six, seven reviews. All perfect five-star reviews because of what this bulb can do. Now, those reviews are all based on when this bulb was $29.95, and it's worth it. Has a couple-year warranty. I mean, the thing's gonna last you. They only put two years, but it's LED. It'll probably last you forever. But here's what I'll tell you. Price break today. Not $30, but $16.95. So it's almost 50% off. It's on FlexPay. They even reduced the shipping. So what's so fancy about this this year light, my friend? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> it is a three-in-one. It's going to be your everyday LED light. But when your power goes out, your Lenmar is going to automatically turn on. We are still in hurricane season. We're basically still in peak hurricane season. Wouldn't you like to know that you have the peace of mind that when you lose power, your light is going to be turning on? If your neighbors, you're looking around the neighborhood and everything's pitch black, you're gonna be the one house where your lights are still going to be on, and when you lose power, like I said, check this out, your light is automatically <laughs> going to turn on. You don't have to touch anything. And now basically you can go ahead and walk around the house with a lantern. Isn't that brilliant? So when the power goes out, this automatically goes, goes, turns on. Now mm -hmm. here's the good, really good thing about it too, is if you keep it on full power, cause it has a setting where it can be dim or full power, yep. it'll last for three extra hours on the batteries that, on the batteries that are built into this. So what a great deal. And then if you keep it on the dim setting, it, it uh, keeps it illuminated for another five hours, which is probably plenty of time for you to be able to grab all your emergency stuff or hopefully until the light and the power comes back on. Exactly, right. You're gonna have plenty of time to be able to uh, utilize that battery and you don't have to think about it. As soon as that power goes out, your Lenmar is gonna automatically turn on so you don't have to flip any switches, you don't have to touch any buttons. And since it's an LED light, it's always gonna run cool. So yeah, when you want to go ahead and use it, if you want to leave it in your lanterns or your la your lamps, excuse me, not lanterns, we're not uh, Any, in 1921. Here. Right. Uh, but what we can do then is go ahead and unscrew it. And once I unscrew it, you're going to notice it's going to automatically turn back on, or I can just go ahead and now I have a flashlight. So if you have a light inside of your bedroom, the power goes out. Now you can go ahead and walk around your house, walk through the hallways, put this in every single room, every single room in the house. And we offer these two different lights though. If you want the white light for perhaps in your office, your power goes out in the office. Right. Now you can go ahead and utilize the LED light. You can see the difference light. in the color. So one is a bright white and one is a softer light. So whether you're using it for office or whether you're using it for, you know, to illuminate an entire room, or if you want more of the uh, mood lighting, regular lighting, it's, it's basically equivalent to a 50, um, a 50 watt bulb. Here's the deal. I don't have a lot of these to go around and they're broken up because I have the two different styles, but get them three in one emergency flashlight automatically turns on when the power goes off and then it's your regular everyday bulb. You know, these bulbs already save you a boatload of money just on their own because they're yeah. LED. They, they use about 10 to 15% of the, of the regular charge of, of what it takes to do a regular incandescent bulb and incandescent bulbs burn hot. That's why they burn out. Yep. They actually have a, a filament inside that gets red hot and then illuminates the inside. They put a little phosphorescent coating on the inside of a bulb and that's what makes it bright. These use LED, which is that, that basically it's a technical term for uh, diode, which is better diode, whatever you want to call it. Diode, uh, diode. Uh, diode, whatever, potato, potato. but it's tomato, tomato. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it doesn't uh, consume a lot of energy to turn on. So, and, and I love the fact that it's, look at it's a nightlight, a flashlight. Yeah, it's your nightlight. So In case of emergencies, press that button one more time and now you also have an SOS light. So this is really, they've thought about just everything when it comes to this. And guys said it, it is your LED light. It's gonna last you a very long time. It'll always going to be running cool, but you never know where you're gonna be in the house when you lose power, right? You could be walking down the stairs, you could be in the hallway. These are perfect for any of your recessed lighting, but maybe you lose power during the day. We get a storm during the day. We wanna be able to preserve the battery that 
five hour battery in our LED light, what do we do? We get in a ladder to, to, to press a button? No, we don't touch it. So for instance, again, there's power the difference goes in out. colors, by the way, yeah. so you can see. So this is this is the uh, more of the softer lighting. Yeah, that's what would be mimicking your incandescent. This is bright. All you ask for is soft or you go for bright. These are half price. Okay, so let's show everybody what we're gonna do here. So basically when we when we unplug them. Unplug it. Watch what happens. Check this out. It's gonna automatically turn on there in just is. a few seconds. <laughs> so that's basically, what I'm doing is basically mimicking the whole idea of you lose power. And all of a sudden, every single light in the neighborhood goes yeah. out, your house is gonna always be on and lit. And then unscrew that one too. Can we take that yeah. one out and show? So now watch what happens. So yeah. let's say that now and keep in mind, you, you so, need a light to walk around it. And it's not incandescent, so I'm not melting my fingerprints yeah. off, right? Look at Now I have a flashlight. It's that three-in-one emergency backup. Read those reviews. Somebody just said it, that, you know what? I got it just in the nick of time. The hurricane yeah. came through. I got right. it right before then, and I had my lights. You know what? Even as, as fall and winter come here, you know, we get snowstorms that cause power failures and things like that. Mm -hmm. or we just need a light <clears throat> to do something, you know, you can grab it out of the thing when you're in a pinch for a flashlight and use it when you're running outside at night or whatever. But I'm telling you, if you read, read the reviews, we very rarely, is it's hard to please everybody all the time. And, and all, every review is perfectly five-star rated. So this is a 5.0 product. It was rated that way when this thing was $29.95 and now it's only $16.95. So we have a lot of people buying two because now pretty much for the price of, of one before you can buy two. Just let us know which uh, color you want. We have a minute on the clock. They're only $8.48 to get them home. And you'll probably never have to replace these. You know, we, we, we you know, by law, there's a warranty that comes with yep. for two years. I have LED bulbs at my house. <laughs> they never, they, those things are never gonna go out. They just, because LED just doesn't burn the same way. And they, you know, those, those can last you 10, 20 years. Um, this does so much more than just the basic LED because as we said, flashlight, emergency light, Oh, and you showed me something cool, like if we have a remote control, right? So it, with any infrared remote, this is gonna, basically this is demo is showing you, if you have it in any, any recessed lighting, if you have it in the hallway, if you lose that power during the day and you wanna preserve that battery, grab an infrared remote, and you kinda have to figure out which button, but any button on here in any infrared remote, you notice it just went to 50%. Yeah. If I press it again, it's gonna turn off. I don't have to get on a ladder to preserve that battery. Perfect for emergencies, press it one more time, I turn the light on, That's come nighttime. Cool. That is thinking cool. I mean, you don't and have that, to get on a ladder, and it's, you, you spend LEDs. Yeah. You're never gonna have to ladder, get on a ladder to change this. Yeah, and, and by the way, we that, that is on any remote control that you have in the house. As long as it's got an infrared signal, you'll find the button that works. Yeah, and it's brilliant. You gotta, you gotta well, figure, because a lot of people, deep. Justin, might put it up high where they don't they don't want to have to get up on a ladder and take it away. Exactly. So this will enable you to turn it on and turn it off when you need it. But remember, power failures, the light will automate. I mean, wouldn't it be nice when all the other lights in the neighborhood are out? and you got two of these bulbs that your lights are on for another three hours and what's the, and on high. And guy, what's the easiest flashlight to find? The one the that's one, on. The one that's right there <laughs> the going in front of me. The one that's on. That's a really good point. Well, you know, and I think a lot of people have a tendency to panic when the lights go out. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, light a candle, do this, do me mm -hmm. a favor. Get flashlights, don't light a candle, or buy one of these. Flashlights, or candles can be so dangerous. I, I love them for ambiance when I'm there, but I don't wanna be walking around my house with a candle. So this is a great opportunity. They're almost half price, perfectly rated customer picks. So if you'd like them, we got a lot of people buy them more than one. Hey, you stick around because you've got the mulcher blower power vac coming up later. Today's right. special and cred cutter right around the break. always dreaming and wanting to create things. I see something and I see that we can make it better. One day, the light bulb just went off. Nobody has this. They're waiting for me to invent it. Next thing you know, you're on HSN and the whole world's hearing about it. It just sold out. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh my God. HSN celebrates the dreamers, inventors, and entrepreneurs who follow their hearts, helping American dreams come true. Being here today proves anything is possible.
The thing I love most about shopping at HSN. Do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say FlexPay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now and make monthly payments without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom, a fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding, and a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what I need now without the stress of having to pay for it all at once and no interest. Beat that layaway. All right, everybody, welcome back. We've stepped outside on a beautiful, sunshiny day. Uh, but you know, it is fall. <clears throat> and before you know it, all these leaves and all the debris are going to get all over your house, and it's going to be a total mess. So what we decided is we were going to put together a special configuration of crud cutter. You know, you know, we use crud cutter all over the house, but this is our outdoor solution, and this stuff is amazing. You're going to get two of the 62-ounce bottles of crud cutter, outdoor cleaner, whether it's your barbecue, your patio, your furniture, your decks, walkways, fences, or your big-picture windows. Take a look. We attach one of the containers to the hose. Look at that, and that, my friends, well, that's John Florell right there cleaning it up. Hey, Hello. buddy, it's good to you? see you. That is really cool. You didn't even have to get you on a ladder. Have, no, you don't even have to touch the windows. You don't have to touch your house. Awesome. What makes it great, though, is that all you do is hook it up to your garden hose. Your, your hose does the work for you. And the way this works, it supercharges the water pressure that comes out of your garden hose to almost give you, it, that way, you can actually second story on your house you can spray all the way up onto the roof and what it does is it takes the cleaner mixes it with the water and then that sprays it onto your house now you also get in the set a hand sprayer and you get two big jugs like this it's a lot of crud cutter yeah. now crud cutter is made by rust-oleum all right we've been around for years and years and years uh, it also has the safer choice designation from the epa which means you don't have to worry about spraying around your uh, flowers, shrubs, right. trees, yeah. anything and like that. Environmentally friendly. Because it is environmentally yep. friendly. But let me show you this. I gotta show you real quick how crud cutter works. And if you're familiar with our original crud cutter, uh, it cuts through grease and grime all over the house on just about any surface. You can use it on the inside or the outside of your house. I've got some used motor oil here. And I'm gonna put this out on this paver. If this was your driveway or maybe it's your, uh, you, you know, the, the garage floor, what happens when you spray crud cutter? Crud cutter breaks down and emulsifies grease, oil, all the grime, dirt, pollen, dust, any dirt around your house, it breaks it down on a molecular level, making it easy to remove. I mean, hey, think about it like this guy. Next time you have that friend that comes over to your house, or maybe it's the kid that comes home with the, uh, wow, the drippy that. oil pan, and they park in the middle of the driveway, Crud Cutter breaks right through that. So you can use it full strength right out of the bottle with that sprayer, yeah. or you can hook it up to your garden hose and cover every outdoor surface around the house to help get rid of all that green and yeah. black gunk that builds up and, on the outside of our and house. And John says every outdoor, sir, I'm talking about everything and anything. Because remember, even if you have mold or mildew like on your outdoor pots and, and vases and things like that, it's, remember, it's environmentally safe. It's yes. not gonna hurt your plants. So you can do the entire front of your home. And yeah. <laughs> you can do shutters, you I, can do, look at the, look how high it yeah, goes. Yeah, and I can go all the way up to a second story. So you can get under the shutters, gutters, and overhangs. You can blast away the cobwebs, the dust, the dirt. Hey, listen, if it's been a, you know, a long summer. Yeah. We've had a lot of pollen that falls off the trees. Right. Now we're gonna have the leaves. You can use this to blast away the leaves, the pollen, the dust, the dirt, the grime. Maybe you live in an area where there's construction. Sure, like you me, get all yeah, that yeah, dust, there's lots right? of dust. All over your house. So whether it's vinyl, metal, or wood siding on your house, sure. all you do is turn the unit on. Now here's how simple this is. Right here on the front, there's a little knob, a black knob. You turn this on, you're spraying fresh, clean water out of your garden hose. If you turn it one more step, now I'm gonna, it, it's that actually activates. mixing. Look yep, at it. It's mixing the cleaner with the water coming out of your garden hose, and you're able to spray your shutters, you're able to spray your 
your doors, the windows, the overhangs, get all that dust and dirt and crud from the outside of your house and the mold and mildew. That's the worst part, right? Uh, and now all I do is turn it back to rinse and now I'm rinsing it away. But guy, every time this gets wet from this point forward, yeah. it reactivates it so it keeps cleaning. So you spray, it's like aim, spray, and walk away. On your windows, it's great for cutting through all that, uh, you know, this, the, the gunk that builds up on your windows. Yeah. Bird droppings, bugs, the dust, the pollen. And you don't have to remove your screens because it cleans right through those too. In fact, here, you don't have to remove your screens. And I gotta show you this, I've got a screen back here. And your screens might not even look dirty, okay? But watch what happens. When I spray crud cutter, through this screen, if, the, if there was a window back there, see, I don't have to remove the screen. It blasts the dirt, the grime, the dust, the pollen right through your screen, so it cleans your windows and your screens at the same time. And I, I mean, talk about saving time. When you don't have to climb up onto a ladder to pull screens down, when you don't have to climb up onto a ladder with a roll of paper towels, you can just aim, spray, and walk away. I mean, it's such a simple way to clean every exterior surface of your house, whether it's shutters, whether it's uh, siding, decks, patios, pavers, sidewalks, driveways. It's made to clean all those different surfaces and and it acts like a, a pressure, almost like a mini pressure washer because yeah, yeah. it supercharges the water that comes out of your garden hose, which allows you to hit those really high surfaces around the house so you don't have to climb up onto a ladder. And I know we don't have a, a two-story house here. We've got like a story and a half. But I can easily stand with both feet safely on the ground and I can get to those cobwebs, the, the dead bugs, the, you know, the spiders that build, that build their nests up underneath your... Uh, uh, the siding, and it just gives you, I'll tell you what, it gives your house that curb appeal it deserves. Hey, let me tell you really quickly, you're gonna get two of the 62 ounce bottles, so it's 124 ounces altogether. And what you were just doing, I was looking up there, and I have a big, uh, I have three big picture windows in the front of my house, and they're not, they're not that high up, but the problem is right. I have shrubs right underneath. You right. can't access them. <laughs> right. So right. you have to use this giant uh, like brush and squeegee and it doesn't really work. This is a this is a formula where you don't even have to scrub. No. And once you use it, John, you, it, it kind of leaves a residual kind of coating on there yes. so, that, so that funky stuff doesn't stick and, to and it. And that's just it. Yeah. Once you spray it on, it stays on there. So every time that gets wet again, you ever see on the outside of your house where you've got a sprinkler that hits the house yeah, and you yeah, get yeah. that orange stain? I had it on my this, shed. This half is, my yeah. shed has green mold because <laughs> yeah. the sprinkler hits half and the this shed. this is what's gonna help. Now, yeah. it may not remove it immediately, okay? But the ingredients in crud cutter will, will help keep that mold and mildew from growing. So you, what you're gonna do is spray it on. If you have patio furniture, yeah. okay? It's been sitting out all summer. Uh, you know, it gets dusty, dirty. It's been raining on it. You get right. bird droppings, all that stuff. Just use crud cutter. You can, you literally watch the mold and mildew just melt right away. The dust, the pollen, the dirt, all that grime that builds up over time. And again, you can see how it just blasts it right through there, helping to remove even the toughest stains on your outdoor patio furniture, yeah. but also on any surface. Now, this is a wicker chair but you can also use it on your decks, on sidewalks. Here, I'm gonna blast this away. On your decks and sidewalks, it, it almost acts as a pressure washer. You can see the supercharged power of that water coming out of your garden hose. Listen, if you've already got good water pressure, this is gonna make it great. If you don't have good water pressure in the area yeah. you live, this will make it a lot better. Yep. But again, you get the two bottle set. So you're getting the one, one that has, that you can hook up the sprayer to your garden hose. Yeah. If you wanna use both of them outside, you can. But we do also give you the spray nozzle so you can use this full strength. And full strength is where, I, I love it on the barbecue, places like this where you get that build up grime. Okay, you'll literally, you'll, you'll spray crud cutter on, and guy, I want you to see this. As soon as it hits the surface, look at that. You can literally watch all that burned on, caked on, baked on yeah, gunk. Yeah, it melts away. It just melts right away. Now, let it set for a couple of seconds, 
full strength like this, you want to rinse it, but I'm just going to take a, a, a cloth here and look at the difference this makes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally in seconds, your barbecue can look like new again before you put it away for the winter. Because here we are in the fall, we want to clean up that patio furniture, we want yeah. to, you know, as we're putting it away, know. you don't want to put it away dirty. Well, and, then pull I, it out and you know what, year. the last thing I want to do is get out scrub brushes and sponges and all right. that. I mean, that's, I mean, listen, it's outdoor stuff. So I, listen, I, I just want it to be clean. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not going to eat off it like silverware. So I just, I just, I don't want to have to be out there with, with a toothbrush trying to clean all this <laughs> right, stuff. Right. And what's so nice about crud cutter is, uh, you know, especially if you attach it to your hose, you don't have to do anything. You basically, you've got a little diverter valve that turns on the soap or the crud cutter um, uh, wash, and then it turns it off to rinse it. But John's showing you how, as a handheld cleaner, you know, if you want to detail, even if you want to detail, you know, oh, get your the, the brake dust off yeah, your car it's tires. It's fantastic for that. What about even like washing your boat with this? Yeah, if you got a boat or, a, or an RV or something? If you've got wood decks, or maybe you've got a, a, a wooden fence out back of the house, and it's got that mold and mildew that's built up, turn the unit on. It's easy to hang on to, too. See, it's got this handle right here, and you'll notice I'm not worried about spraying the shrubs. Remember, it's got that EPA Safer Choice rating, so you don't have to worry about spraying it on your shrubs, flowers. If you've got, uh, you know, uh, uh, a rose bush in front of a picture window in front of your house, you don't have to worry about hitting that because it's completely safe for all of your outdoor plants and lawn. All right, we have about three and a half minutes left. So uh, just, hey, listen, ask yourself a question. How hard do you really want to work? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I will tell you, you know, it's for me, it's pick and choose when it comes. Now, now here in Florida is different than a lot of other places. We don't get the real harsh seasons. We yeah. get one sort of long season where it's either really hot or not so hot. Right. But we do get a lot of mold and mildew. We get a lot of rain here. Yes. Uh, if you're up in the Northeast, where I'm from, if you're from, like, I grew up in Connecticut, you know, you get leaf litter, debris, yeah, yeah. you get snowstorms, you get, uh, you know, a, a, a salt on everything, too, because they use a lot of salt on the roads to get rid of the, the winter mess. Then you're going to love this because yeah. it's going to not only break down and clean, and it does it in a more natural way. You know, most most products out there that, that will melt away dirt use chemical solvents. That's it. Yep. And John, you've been in the business long enough, and you know their products out there. Hey, listen, maybe they get rid of the mess, but guess what? I'm not real happy about that stuff going down the drains and going into your rivers <laughs> and right. all the other That's stuff. That's right. And not only that, it's you know you got to wear gloves and all that. You notice John's just going at this, no gloves. Yep. It's I, safe to use. You don't, don't it, even have to get close to the surface. No. Now I got to tell you, pressure washers are great. They they really are. But a lot of times you don't have time to pressure wash because it does take a lot of time. You, you're covering like a two inch area at one time while you're using a pressure washer. On your sidewalks or patios with crud cutter you spray it on <coughs> let it set it eats through the that black and green uh, gunk that's on the outside of your house the dust the dirt the debris and then you just rinse it away i mean it makes it so much simpler than pressure washing yeah and it does a fantastic job it's very easy just attach it to your hose anybody can do this and you'll be able to clean i really like the idea john of cleaning the side of the house because there's really no way to clean your house unless you get out there on a ladder right. with a scrub brush or with a sponge and you're just with a bucket. I mean, nobody wants to do that. Or what if you want to, you know, this is the old whitewash in the fence, but you, yep. you know, you're like old Huck Finn, Tom Sawyer, or whatever. Well, hey, listen, and, uh, vinyl fences, wood fences, yeah. they all build up with mold over time. Windows, picture windows, you know, anywhere around, shutters. I always say if you use house. it just for your windows, I mean, Hey, take a look at this again. Now, I don't have to remove the screen from a window because it, it cleans through your screens too. I'm gonna hold this up against the house. Your screens might not even look dirty, but once you hit it with crud cutter, you'll see the dust, the dirt, the pollen, the grime, the mold, the mildew, the bugs, the cobwebs, all those dead bugs, bird droppings. It blasts it through there, so it gives you clear vision so you can see outside. And I mean, look at this. It, go, it blasts it straight through, so you don't even have from your windows, you can stand with both feet safely on the ground, and because it, it gives you that supercharged water pressure that's coming out of your garden hose, you don't even you, you don't have to climb up onto a ladder to hit a second floor. So if your windows are way up high, I can stand here with both feet safely on the ground, and I can spray all the way up over the top of this house if I want to. The, the dirt, the grime, yeah. mold, the mildew. And then remember, every time it rains or yeah. every time it gets wet, 
it reactivates it so it helps right. it helps keep it cleaner longer let me tell you you're going to get two 62 ounce bottles that's enough for anybody to be able to do their house probably two different times uh, all around the house and we're talking about also on your rv on your boat whatever it is your, your driveways yep. cleans it all if you buy it today uh, i think it's on three flex today which normally it's on two so that's what eight dollars and change uh, to get it home reduce shipping and handling you're going to love this stuff and by the way i have it on auto ship which you can get it every 90 days or you can customize it if you need a, a to restock it every month you can do that as well uh it is zero nine six one two one john Thorell, great job buddy hey, thank thanks. you so much you cleaned our house for us yeah, we like clean. that john here on a regular basis because he <laughs> cleans everything up for us which is nice in addition to everything else hey coming up a little bit later justin's going to be back and we've got i i, I got one of these the day peter Cullen came out with this this is such a cool thing it's another three in one Justin starring with three-in-one products today. Yeah, the light bulb, now he's got this, because what it does is it's a blower, so you can blow the leaves off. It is also a vacuum, so you can suck the leaves up, and then it also mulches them in the collection bag. So it truly does everything to help you get ready for fall. And it's at an introductory price of only $62.95. It's on FlexPay 1574. It's very easy to use, and uh, I love it, because it's lightweight. It's not a real heavy-duty, uh, one of those big heavy-duty industrial tools very very comfortable to use uh, you plug it in you turn it on there's no gas to have to deal with you don't have to oil anything you just turn it on hit the button and you start vacuuming up the leaves or blowing them away or mulching them up you know put a used comp make compost put it back in your garden good to go anyway that's coming up towards the end of the show everybody but we've got a great offer that we don't get to do very often and I will tell you hands down the greatest outdoor indoor mats you will ever buy for your house because they have this active astro astroturf technology we only do this i don't even know if we're going to get another chance to do this the rest of the year is a today's special best value we've ever done it's a two pack of our astroturf maps our best value of the day here it comes yeah. all right everybody and take a look at this no matter what you scrape, no matter what you scratch off the bottom of your shoe, look at how much these mats eat. It's like it disappears. So there's a trap door there or something. Look at it, up to five pounds of dirt and grime and sand and debris hide themselves in these amazing mats. We call them the clean machine because that's what they're like. They're an unbelievable machine. And let me tell you, before we get to meet Peter, the man who's dumping all that scuzz inside of our rugs, come on over here and I'm gonna show you the different colors that we have. All right, you ready? We'll start you out with jute. I believe, is jute the one that's right here next to me? Because there's two that are similar. Black, Which one's this Black one? Forest. This is, this is Black Forest. All right, ready, Pete? What am I on now? Jute. This is jute. I'm going to step forward. This? Black cherry. Black cherry. I'm going to take a step to the side. Of course, this is evergreen. And you see two because you get two. Ah, flint, I like. So you have a choice of any of these colors. When you buy one, you get two automatically. That's our best value of the day. My good friend Peter Kilcullen is here and he's gonna show you just how these work. We have gotten so many great uh, reviews on this product. It's been a customer pick forever. And virtually all you need to do is walk on it. It has what I call proactive scraping technology. Wow. That's right. That's, That's right. I believe it. PST. It, it, proactive scraping technology. It definitely has that. Because of little fingers that reach out. It, exactly. Those, those blades of grass, that astroturf. But the cool thing about this mat is you're going to be able to put a mat outside yes. any door of around your house, and it's going to do what a mat was born to do. It's going to keep all the dirt and grit and sand in the mat and not allow it to get into your house. So you're cleaning more, you're sweeping, you're worried about your hardwood floors, your beautiful tile floors. This is the solution. Keep all that dirt outside of your house and watch what we're able to do. I have our, the black cherry color in front of us. And when you see me pour this sand down into the mat, it really looks like it just disappears. And the reason it's doing that is because those tiny little fingers, they do the job at removing all that dirt and debris from your shoes, but then it falls down in between those blades of AstroTurf, and then it allows you to continue to use that mat. So even with the sand I just put in there, I can still wipe my feet and it works. But we can hold five pounds of sand. So I'm gonna keep going. I want you to see this. Can you imagine what five pounds of sand would look like, you know, in your kitchen, on your floors? but this allows it to all stay in the mat and the mat continues working. Now, for instance, five pounds of sand, that could be weeks and weeks and months. 
Maybe it's, you know, in a certain days, certainly here in Florida, maybe that five pounds of sand isn't very a, long, a very long time. But the difference on what these mats can do compared Sir, to what you got. There's a trap door under there. Where's it all going, no, Pete? It's in there. That is it's just, in there, that is guy. insane. It really is I always amazing. think you got some trick, but it's not. It just loads up. You got what? How many pounds you got in there? Five pounds of sand. Wow. So you just saw me pouring that all Watch. in there. And look at that. Here's the next best thing about these incredible AstroTurf mats. When we call it a clean machine, it cleans your shoes. But then cleaning out that mat is, it's simple. Shake it out just like that, or even rinsing it out with your hose. Now, guy, you're not going to believe this. Yeah, yeah. Watch this video. All right. We're going to speed it up. People going in the house over the course of weeks and months. Look at the mat on the right. That's your kind of your typical mat. Everyone loves that. It's that cocoa yeah. core. Look at the amount of dirt. Look at this going across the threshold. The, that mat is ruined. It's completely just covered in mud. But look at the clean machine. The AstroTurf collecting all that dirt and debris, not allowing that same amount of dirt to get into the house. And this is showing you a very, very extreme example. But over time, that's what's happening right now if you don't have the AstroTurf mat well, outside your door. And you understand why I say it's proactive because, you know, normally when you look at like the cork things or the coconut fiber, whatever they are, Pete, right. they're just passive. They stay there. You have to really try to get in there. And because yeah. they're so tightly uh, woven together, there's no way for any of those little uh, those little fingers to get up there and, and scrape the stuff off your feet. Guy, you're exactly so right. So with this, it's a little looser and it's that AstroTurf. And by the way, really quickly I should add, it doesn't hurt your feet when you go on it barefoot. So if you are like me and you live near this, the, the beach or whatever, you can scrape that right off your bare feet. It does the same yeah. on your pet's paws. Exactly, that's that super close up of those AstroTurf blades of grass, pulling, scraping, getting that dirt out of there. But then it allows that dirt to settle down to the bottom of the mat. So the surface of the mat, still able to accomplish getting that dirt off your feet, off your sneakers, boots, work boots, anything the kids cleats from all their sports and certainly even the pets when they're walking across these mats it does a better job trapping the dirt before it gets in the house and watch i'm going to keep going each one of these pitchers of sand that i'm pouring into this mat is five pounds this will hold now we say five pounds of sand guy i've been able to go well over five pounds of sand we just have it a is limit amazing that we can talk about what it can do look at that so look at that but the great point about this is as i'm pouring all the sand in here so i'm almost done with this five pounds i want you to see that but then it still works perfectly to clean your feet so i've got a boot right here guy check this out yeah. so five pounds of sand in there that you can barely see it in there but here's that dirty boot, sand. So you're gonna go onto that mat and you're gonna wipe your feet like normal. And the best part is it still yeah. works. It's going to get everything it's off It's like your having feet. a little scrub brush uh, yeah. instead of something flat. And remember, when Pete dumps this out, take a look at look everything at that. that's there. But look now, how easily now, it cleans, and, and Here's guy. the issue too. Now, if I step in sand like this, right? And I get sand on my shoe. When I come over here and I stand on this, on this mat right here, I mean, you can see there's sand all <laughs> yeah. over it. Well, it doesn't go anywhere. Let's do the same thing in all Watch. these three different options, Let me try to guy. work that in. It's nowhere for it to go. This Coco Core, it's, it's a nice looking mat, and a lot of people have that, but it just, it does not compare with the amount of sand. Guy, how often have you been on, look at it. Here, here's that mat again, guy. If you, if you use that mat one time, look at that. That's never gonna go away. It's gonna be like that for the whole season. Now you're gonna be searching for a clean area on that map to wipe your feet. But with our clean machine, these AstroTurf mats doing a better job at cleaning your shoes, but then more importantly, you're gonna be able to rinse it out if you need it to. I mean, we're heading into the winter right now, so it's gonna be incredibly dirty. There's gonna be the salt and sand and grit from the roads and the snow, it's gonna be wet. This mat can handle all of it. It's going to keep everything out of your house, but then you can rinse it out, shake it out. It'll be there this season, the season after that. Super durable. It does such a great job. Guys. All right, let me tell everybody again, because they're already, we're getting dangerous on colors if you want. Remember, you get two of these. I can't remind you nothing. Why do we give you two? Most people have an area of their home or a threshold into their home uh, outside of their front door that they want to use this for. Maybe you have a garage uh, door. You put you park your car in your, in your house, right? And then you walk on a cement floor and you know you get that dust and stuff on your shoes. Right before you get in the house, you can scrape it off. And the reason you want to do that is because if you get sand and dirt and grime on your feet, that, those are little crystals. They cut into your hardwood floor. They trash your carpet because they're like little scissors when they get into the carpet fibers. This is going to remove them before you get in. All right. 
So the one I'm standing on, this is Black Forest. I will step up. This, my friends, is Jute. This is Black Cherry. And you can see how this works. And you can see that active scraping. What do I call it, Pete? Pro PST. PST, proactive, proactive scraping technology. And then I will jump over here. And you, by the way, feel free to use that the rest of the day if you'd like, Pete. Thank you. I, I, it's okay, you can use it. <laughs> All right, so there's that. And then uh, this is flint, which is just basically a dark charcoal. By the way, if you want, you can cut these. So if you needed to put one, a lot of people like will put one on their RV and they just need it in half and they put it just in the little entryway. I saw a guy use, uh, talked about online that he uses it when he brings his kids to the beach. He pulls it out of the trunk. The kids wipe their feet off before, before they get, they in, the get in the car. That, that's, it's that's brilliant. Yeah. You know, I, we use ours in the garage. So I've had one in the garage for a long time and it works so great because our garage steps up into the kitchen. Yes. But guys, just recently, you know my wife, Debbie. Debbie was had a, a beautiful, expensive mat that she had out our back door, but it started to get dirty. It's just not working anymore. I, I convinced her, I brought home the jute color, which she loves, and now we've replaced that out back. It is, it's amazing. They don't get dirty, they don't get stained like those other mats, of, whether it's mud or dirt or who knows what from the dog. We have a puppy at home. It looks great, but it's doing a better job. So even everything that the puppy used to drag in, he's yeah. not dragging in anymore. By the way, and there you can see. Look yeah. how great they look. And, and as I said, great for your pets too, because the little pet paws are gonna are gonna sink down into those little uh, those little uh, fingers, as, as we call them, and they're gonna reach up and get all the scuzz off your pet's feet as well, or, or your cats, whatever you want to. Yeah. Hey, you want a lot of people will put this right out on the other side of a cat box. So the oh, cat's feet yeah, we, will get will brush off when they get out of the we, out of the litter. You're exactly right. We had a lot of calls about using this on the litter box. So I want to show you this. A couple things to show you. Here's that that Coco Core mat again. Well, first of all, right away you're going to see the size difference that we have in here. These are much larger. Actually, you're getting a set of these guys. So one of the great thing is if you put them together as a single mat, they'll work amazing outside those double doors. But let's show you. Let's see what this Coco Core mat can do with over five pounds of sand. And when I put that on top of it, just shaking out that mat. So look at that, five pounds of sand were in there. I shake it, it looks brand new, it's ready to keep working. And look at this welcome mat. Not so welcoming anymore when it would be impossible to wipe your feet on that mat again. That's the difference with these AstroTurf mats. They keep working, they keep looking great. Look at Guy. Guy, there it is, look super close up. This is your uh, PST technology. There it is, right there. But what it really is, is those AstroTurf blades of grass, those fingers grabbing that dirt. It really does scrape your shoes. Yes. So now, but not only just leaving it on the surface, now it's gonna pull it down inside that mat so you keep wiping your All feet right, again Jerry, and again. just let me know that we're getting dangerous in a couple colors that they really? could sell out. So, and remember please today that you get two. Normally these are like 20 bucks a piece, okay? We're doing two for $24.95, all right? So, and the reason we do them in a two pack, one is because we want to save you on the shipping and handling so you don't have to pay for them separately. But the other reason is everybody needs two. They always say, I wish I had another one for this part of the house, for that part of the house. And you know, when you when you think about, Pete, the amount of money people spend, and I know you, because I know you've uh, you've got your, your Pilates studios and you, your, heart, your floors are very expensive. The last thing you want to do is, is track in a bunch of dirt and sand, because that'll trash it. Like, I, I've been to your it, house. You have beautiful hardwood floors. The hardwood floors. Oh. They're, they're the, they're Debbie the ones. will kill you if you walk in there with sandy <laughs> feet. She might. Well, honestly, that's one of the biggest things is not just the, the amount of cleaning that you have to do, but if you can worry about damaging your floors. So right now, look at this. I'm showing you some of this darker dirt, almost like a gravel. Same thing. Actually, this is really close to what a kitty litter might be like, guy. And same thing. It goes into that, into that mat and you don't have to worry about it going into the that house. It's like volcanic ash that you're putting <laughs> Very in close. There. But the cool thing is, it's still gonna work, so we're pouring all that dirt in there. So now I have a work boot, so if you come home with your work boots, look at that. And you know what, I'm gonna do that again, because I want you to hear that. Yeah, you know what that That's, is, right? You know what that is. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> That's that scraping technology. But honestly, it's great that you don't even have to think about it, because many of right. us, we're in a hurry. But just walking across that mat in a normal fashion, just getting a couple of steps on that, it's going to do a better well, job at removing the and, dirt and debris on your feet. And, if, and listen, we're, Pete and I are wearing just regular flat shoes, and, and we're showing you boots. If you're wearing heavy-duty boots, yeah. maybe you have a husband or, uh, or a wife or whatever that works in a business where you know their feet get dirty, in the construction business, whatever, this is a great way to be able to clean it up. And, you know, we, we, we kind of have a rule in my house, and a lot of people do in Florida, 
Florida because of all the beaches and everything where you leave your shoes kind of on the yeah, out. On the, that's you, right. you can't leave them outside. You scrape them off, but then you take them off and put them in the little entryway. Yeah. This is a way to get rid of that dirt, get rid of that sand. And you know, we just got into fall. So now we're going to have leaves on the ground. We're going to have sure. more stuff that we're going to be stepping in. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the snow comes and then you have the salt. And when you have salt on the bottom of your shoe, everything sticks to it. Exactly. So, hey, listen, yeah. we have a, uh, we are, we got about seven or eight minutes left. We're getting extremely busy. I mean, it's a two for one today. So grab them. Everybody will love these. And by the way, to rinse them off, a hose. All you got to do is so shake easy. them out. Yep. Let's take a listen to one of our good friends, good customers that owns these. When we come back, we'll talk more about how you can get it. Check it out. Okay, I've, we've got the AstroTurf, the scraper mats came in. We got two of those. We got them in slate to go along with uh, the decor of the house. It looks great coming in the front door. And we put one at the back door too because we have a pool and a deck back there. And with dogs and boys and a lot of traffic coming in from the backyard and from the garden, these are great at really cleaning the shoes and boots and even flip flops off when they come in from outside. Uh, a lot of um, Oklahoma is made of red clay, so we get a lot of that stuff that tracks in the house if you're not careful. And these mats really, really clean the shoes off, clean the, the bottoms of the soles off completely. So when you're coming in the house, you're not bringing Oklahoma outside inside. I can't emphasize enough how much it's going to save your That's floors great, yeah. and how I mean, it's just, and I'm, I'm always surprised because some people, people go out and they spend $30 on those decorator mats. They don't do anything. Well, they work. You know, for a short time, yeah, but and then they, you have to replace them. I so know. you're buying them well, again and again. And yeah. then if you have, if we're heading into the winter and you're thinking about getting one of those, sadly, just the first rainy, muddy day that you have, that mat's going to be ruined for the whole season. Yeah. So let me show you real quick. We've kind of we've got some wet sand right here. So I'm hoping I'm going to get a bunch to stick to my foot right there. I can show you that. Did I get? Oh, oh come on. Come in on. close. Just Let's get yeah, some squash into there. there, Pete. There we go. I got some on there. No, that's good. You got some on your Let's heel. Let's get some on the front there too. All right, Good but enough. again, getting onto this mat and just doing like your normal wiping of your feet, Oh, let's, let's turn around this way. It does such a good job that you can see that it clears that yeah. foot pretty easily. But even just walking across it, it does a great job. And look at that guy. It's hard to see, but I can see this that sand just in this small area. It's not on the surface, but the sand that was on my shoe is down inside that mat. Yeah. So we could do that hundreds and hundreds of more times. And then if we wanted to, then we just shake it out. I want to show you this since we're close up here. You can see all those blades of grass, that AstroTurf. They're stiff. They do a great job. It's scraping the shoes, not, not skid back. That's gonna allow this to stay in place, but you're gonna be able to rinse this off. It's going to last. That's the best part about this mat. Never gonna get, you know, all, all filled with water and gross and moldy and falling apart. It's gonna look great, it's gonna yep. work. We got five minutes remaining on this. Uh, I'm gonna show you the colors again one more time. Yeah. Start off with Black Forest, and remember, you do get two of these. So uh, the reason we give you two is because like we said, everybody asked for another one. Uh, this is Jute, which is kind of a deep beige sort of a color. Uh, the most popular. This is Black Forest, which has sort of a red and black, uh, oh, excuse me, black cherry, uh, which has the red and the black in it. This is Evergreen. Uh, the bases of all these are pretty much the same color. They're all that deep, dark color. Um, and then this, of course, is the Flint, which is just a sort of a blackish gray color. Uh, these are customizable. Again, if you want to cut these, I, I, I didn't mention, I saw tell you about one guy who brings it in the car. He also keeps, uses them as, there's people who use them as car mats. They cut it in half and they put it sort of in the back seat of the car. So when kids go to the beach, they can just take them out and dump them out because regular car mats are just flat and you can and you know you know what's funny is you have car mats in your car and then they'll right. sell you more mats to put over your car mats in your car because they really don't do anything they just allow the sand and the dirt to sit on top that's why your cars always look so dirty no matter how much peter pours into this you'll see Isn't it swallows cool? it up which means you don't have to clean it as often but that honestly you lift it to clean it if you want to wash it put a little soap on there a little nellies or a little crud cutter and just rinse it off oh absolutely rinse it i used a blower on it when it's in the garage you can blow all the dirt out. But that was five pounds of sand. I'm going to see if I can get a bit more in here of that sand. That was five pounds. Yeah. Imagine what five pounds of dirt would look like on an ordinary mat or worse than that inside your house. But I want to show you, I've got a work boot, guy. Same thing. I've got a work boot show the right boot, there. Pete. Again, you know, these are the kind of things where if you're going to go in and out of the house, remember, not just your front door. Think about every single door in your house, whether it's the back door, the side door, the door from the garage, and, of course, your front door. Listen to that. 
That's the hey, scraping. Hey, listen, I would buy these. I don't, have a, I don't have a cat anymore, but I do used to have, my family used to have Siamese cats. And uh, let me tell you, they drag their dirty paws all over the place. They get <laughs> that stuff everywhere. Put this right in front of the cat box. Definitely. So when the cat walks out, and you know, cats, they'll walk on and check it out. They'll get all the scuzz off their feet. Or, you know, if you have your pets that go outside well, to do their business before they come in, this will, using that technology I talked about, it will actually reach up into their paws and pull out all the little pieces and they of don't stuff have that, to that they drag in. And spend extra time. Right. It's going to do a great job because you're seeing it right there, those fingers scraping away at the bottom of your, sh your shoes. It really is an amazing way. I love that we're showing you something right now. If you've never tried it, it's better than what you're using right now. It's going to solve a huge problem. So now look at that, what they're doing there, getting all that snow. Yeah, and that's Obviously, coming, that's by all going to be water, right? But if that was a regular mat, even all that water, getting that wet, that, that mat could be completely ruined, but not with this AstroTurf mat. Again, whether it's water, sand, mud, dirt, you can shake it out, you can rinse it out with the hose, and when you do, look at that, it's a brand new yeah. mat. And that is just amazing. Get, so that's oh, the black cherry color right yeah, there. I love a that lot one, of the yeah. customer comments talk about how durable they are, and I think yeah. that's important because, you know, not, not all of us live just in Florida where the, really the worst thing we get is sort of rain. We get hurricanes, but that doesn't affect our doormats too much. But if you live up uh, in anywhere where there's uh, where you get the seasons, anywhere where you get snow or ice or sleet, right. you know how important it is to, to clean off your feet uh, when you come into the house. You know, our parents teach us that when we're kids. But uh, this really lends a helping hand. It's, it really is, and I, I tease about it, but honestly, it's not a passive mat. It really does reach up and take the dirt and the grime and the stuff off your boots and your shoes. Uh, it, it's, it's also the things online, everybody says it's really attractive. It. It, you know, yeah. it's, it, it's, just, it's just a beautiful, a nice color. It's, it's unassuming, it's not discreet loud thing. I mean, if you want one of those, you can find those at one of those home stores. This is one that really puts cleaning your feet as the number one priority, yeah, uh, the durability, and feet, then the look. It's keeping your house cleaner as, yes. as well. And I know, you know, my wife, Debbie, she was concerned when I said, well, it's an AstroTurf mat. And you, if you think AstroTurf mat, you might not be picturing well, something grass. that this looks is, this right. great yeah. and that really functions this well. So, I mean, so many different colors, they're all going to match. I mean, my two favorite are definitely that jute, because it works so well. I've yeah. got the flint in our garage, but then also I think the evergreen is a perfect one for so many people. It's inviting, right? You have that out front. It looks I like, you know what? Look you, at that. Let's look see at, if you can you guess which one I would I would get. Pete? Black Forest. I, I would either. I, that was my second choice. Oh. My first choice, Pete. I'm feeling flint? a little flinty. It's really cool. It's a really nice. There it is. You can see that charcoal yeah, color. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I like we that. have that one in the garage. Again, it looks great. But more importantly, it does such a great job. You are going to love these mats. All right, God, me, are we getting two mats again? You're getting two for the price of one. That's so I am on Flint. If you want, if you want the one I'm getting, get the one in Flint. I'm, well, it goes with everything because it's a charcoal gray. This is uh, Black Forest. This black is Forest is like a black this and is, tan guy, which I like. This is, this black, is cherry, black Cherry. Evergreen. Black Cherry. Evergreen. I'm sorry. All right. So that. So we get two. My for wife one. Debbie is a fan of the jute. That tan Debbie, color, which is know, really and nice. She's decorated your house beautifully. Oh, so. yeah. All right, Peter, that's about <laughs> it. It's $24.95, and as Pete just said again, you are getting two of that. these, so keep in How mind. That is. We, by the way, there are people online that use them, uh, you know, if they have a bigger area in the front of the house, they put two, they just put one when next you, to the when other. When you put them together, it looks like a single mat, which yeah, is really like nice. Like a runner. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. All right, guys, pick it up while you can. Huge customer peek on <laughs> hsn.com. Thank you, Peter, my friend. Thanks, guy. All right, hey, crud cutter's still available if you want to clean the outdoors of your home, and I'm talking about everywhere. Floors, you want to do walls outside in your house, your gutters, your roof, your windows, your boat, your car, I don't care, whatever you want to wash, crud cutter is there, environmentally friendly solution, so you don't have to worry about your pets or your plants, uh, and you get a boatload of it, man. We're giving you not 62 ounces like you see there, two of those, and one comes with a hand sprayer, so if you want to use it to do like your barbecue and stuff like that, you know, or maybe it's your garbage cans. I don't know, whatever you got outside, it's perfect for that. All right, my buddy Justin Hyatt is back, and we've got a product, and I will tell you, you did a three, you're, you're, it's your second three in one of the day. <laughs> but you, you are the, the, three, the three in one guy. Uh, but anyway, I had this amazing, our amazing light bulb to start off our show. But this, this is also an amazing product. Why? Because, it, you know, a lot of us don't have space for three or four different, you know, power tools. This takes three tools and it combines them into one. First of all, it is a blower and everybody needs a blower to blow off the leaves yes. and, and crud around their house. Uh, it is also a vacuum. Uh, and you know, most people don't have a leaf vac. Those are things that just the landscapers have, but it does that. But it also has a third 
job that it does, which it'll make compost for us as well. Exactly. It'll mulch. Yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna vacuum, it's gonna blow, and it's gonna mulch everything. And frankly, this weekend it's fall, and fall means things are gonna be falling off the tree. Right, we got plenty of leaves, and in Florida we don't have too many seasons. We got summer, summer, and summer. But up north, you got every season. When fall hits, it's all fall, and everything's falling off the tree. You're picking up that three-in-one with 160 miles per hour with the power. So when you want to go ahead and use it, and I want you to see how I'm using it, electric. The easier it is, the more you're going to use it. If I want to use it as a blower, Look at that. all I got to do is Look use it like a vacuum. That is and it's got little wheels on the front, by the way. You'll notice that it has a bag attached to it. That's because it will also vacuum up your leaves and mulch your leaves at the same time. What do we have to do to, to get that going? Yeah, so again, we didn't have to pull any cords. We don't have to worry about putting any gas in. All we have to do now, if we want to change it from a blower to a vac, flip a switch. We don't have to go and grab any accessories. All we have to do now is put it to flip the switch, go back to our leaves, and just like a vacuum, so now we are vacuuming up the debris, and there's a little uh, there's a little grinder inside that actually will chop it all up. So when you need to do that, that's all you got to do. It'll take up your leaves. It'll take up the little baby, little teeny sticks and things mm -hmm. like that. And then it all goes in the bag. It's all going to go in the bag. If you want to pop the bag off, it's very, very simple. Just flip this switch right here, pop it off, put it into your garbage. And the coolest part, too, is it's 15 to 1. 15 bags of leaves will be mulched into one bag of leaves. So if you have big yards and you want to go ahead and do that, you can do that. One of the best things I like about having the vacuum, though, is once we blow everything away, if you want to do some touch-up, yeah. put it right to your vacuum, and then you want to just do some of that cleanup work. Maybe it's the maybe it's the grass clippings, right? Well, yeah, I you get have those when I do the when I do my edging in the front of the house. Do your edging, or perhaps the people who come, you pay to come and do it. Exactly right. And all of a sudden, <laughs> look at that. So, and you know what I like too is that you're not just, you have the option of not just blowing it all over the place into your neighbor's yard. You also, I'm not saying that I do that, but uh, you also have the option to chop <laughs> it all up and then use it as mulch or compost or whatever you want to use it for. Today it's only $62.95 and I think it's on FlexPay. My producer, Jared, just said we have 650 remaining. How many do we have, Jared? Oh, we're down to 400. All right, we have 400 of these left. So these are going to go quick. And if you don't have a lot of room, for power tools in your house, honestly, this just takes up a minimum amount of space versus having all three of those different power tools. Absolutely, it's lightweight, weighs a little bit over eight pounds, but you're really not gonna be carrying it. You can see those wheels at the very front. This is basically yeah. a vacuum and a blower that you're gonna use like a vacuum that you would use normally in the front, of, in, inside of your house. And so all you have to do Let's is just these, roll it around. Let's these leaves around. Let's get these out of here. All of a sudden, oh, we, we unplugged ourselves right here. Right. You do have to make sure that you're plugged in, of course. <laughs> But you go. don't have to worry about gas. Start blowing everything away. Again, 160 mile per hour. And by the way, you can control that as well. So, you know, I think the issue a lot of people have with the blower is that, um, is that they're relatively heavy and they're hard to hold. Like I know if you're my mom or husband, John, you know, they're, they're, they're not gonna hold a 15 or 20 pound blower in their hand and right. try to, and, and trust me, I have an industrial plugged in, just it's all it is is a blower. It gets heavy after a while trying to move it around because the force of the thing, you have to hold it back. <laughs> so here it is right here, everybody. And I will tell you, um, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't weigh a lot. The weight on this is about seven pounds. This is the whole thing right here. So pretty, pretty lightweight and portable. It extends down so you can, uh, you can utilize it that way. It's on wheels. So you don't have to hold it in your hand. It actually supports the weight. Yes. By being able to roll it around. And we'll show you that. We'll show you how you can actually roll it around. We're gonna, we're gonna, if we do this patio area and we blow that all around, we'll show you how it works. But seven pounds plugs into a standard outlet. So you always have power, no gas, no oil, none of that. No fumes, you don't have to worry about mixing everything. Yeah. After the winter time, you don't have to worry about, you know, is it gonna start off, is it gonna be cool, do I have to warm it up? You plug it in, you press the trigger, and it's gonna start to work. And I love the fact that we have the vac, because you know what, it really is all about that touch-up stuff. If it is the grass clips. You vacuum it up, those it's, clippings. It's like having that shop vac, but like you yeah. said, 
It's gonna use the impeller right here and it's gonna mulch all of that. So if you wanna use that mulch and use it for some of your topsoil, whatever you wanna use that right. for, or if you just wanna to toss it out, it's gonna take up less space and, and it's gonna be cleaner. And by the way, um, I will tell you from experience, because I know this machine, you've got 12 acres of property. This is not, this is probably not the machine for you. This is a machine, if you like to mulch and you, you know, using it casually around mm -hmm. your house, uh, it, it'll do a bunch of different things. There's the mulching ratio, the MR, I believe. Uh, the mulching ratio is 15 to one. So look at all the bags you'd have to put on the curb. If you just bagged your leaves, that's how many bags you'd have on the curb and your neighbors would not like you. Uh, if you want to shred it all up, you see it also goes down to that one little bag. So multiple uh, versatility here goes anywhere. If you are, like if you cut your grass and you leave some clippings on there, you have your choice of either blowing them away, vacuuming them up, chopping them up, and then using them as, you can put them back in the, into the garden beds as yeah. mulch or whatever you want to do. And for me, they're not even my trees. They're my neighbor's yeah, trees, I know. right? And I have a beautiful side patio. I'm the opposite. My big banyan tree, it's, I got a lot of you. unhappy neighbors. It's you. Sorry, what am I gonna do? So if I'm you got a neighbor like Guy. Too. You blow your own yard, <laughs> I'll do my own. You if you got I mean? a neighbor like Guy. Well, you know what, <laughs> ultimately what I did I, was, I love this thing. Uh, you guys, I, I used to actually uh, do landscaping and I used to have the backpack one and have to do the whole pull cord and it would weigh 20 pounds on my, my back landscape. and I had to make sure that I mixed all the oil and gas. All I had to do was plug this in and now I can start using it. And again, we use it as a blower. You know, and look at how you, I like the control you have. And as I said before, you know, this is perfect for, you know, you own a little house and you got a little yard and you mm -hmm. want to keep it nice and tidy and clean. You don't want to buy three or four different machines. That's why I said, you know, if you got 10, 20 acres of property, you know, obviously, you know, you hire a landscaper, first of all. Right. But if you want to do it yourself, this is really a great way to be able to do it. Now, up on the screen, you see a little thing called FlexPay. If you don't know what that is, essentially what we do is we give you the product for a fraction of the price. We want you to try it out for 30 days. In this case, it's only $15.74. That's all it'll be charged on your credit card. You get it home, it'll come in about a week in a nice big box, uh, just pop it together, it doesn't take long, only a few minutes, uh, put the bag on, and then you can start vacuuming or mulching, or without the bag, you can start blowing stuff around. And then if you love it, you keep it. If you don't, you get a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, which means, and it comes with a label on it, so you just slap the label back on, if you don't like it, doesn't work for you, just return it. I mean, we don't want you to keep something you don't like because we don't want you for one product, we want you for a whole bunch. So we want we want you to be happy with your with your uh, purchase. So you, you just uh, stick it back, we'll, we'll credit your account, give you the money back, whatever it is, and you can shop again. So that's what it's about. If you keep it, then you just make the other three payments over the next three months. That's, that's how simple it is. There's no finance charges or anything like that. If you are uh, starting to prepare for, for fall in your part of the woods, neck of the woods, uh, which I know it's happening. I called my brother two days ago, and he said, uh, you know, we're getting ready. To, he goes, leaves are going to start changing. Mm -hmm. He said, leaves are actually already falling off the trees in some of his areas. I know they're falling off the trees here. I had that banyan tree I was telling you about that all yep. my neighbors hate. <laughs> uh, well, the leaves are already starting to fall down there. I, right now, I can just, I can mow them over. But eventually, the leaves win, and you actually either have to rake or you have to get a blower like we have here. And Justin is showing you how easy it is. And remember, because it's on wheels, you don't have to worry about, you know, hurting your back or hauling it all over the place. It's what we call a uh, wired uh, plug-in power, so there's no gas. You know, there are blowers out there that you have to put gas in. And yeah, like I said, if you're a landscaper, good for you. They're also $500. So this is only $62.95, again, and it's on FlexPay. I like the fact that it empowers people to be able to do stuff themselves. Too. It does, and the easier it is to use, the more you're gonna use it, and the more you're empowered to use it. Yeah. And it's become easier because of course we have those wheels. It's basically like having a vacuum for your outdoors. It's not just that shop back, but it is also that blower. And we're utilizing the two the two uh, pipes right here instead of having to interchange them. This is gonna be your, vac your vacuum right here. Excuse me, this is your vacuum, and this and is gonna be your blower. Yeah. This blower is gonna be blowing up to 160 miles per hour, and you can actually adjust this down to 60 miles per hour, and this is gonna be your vacuum and we have the little teeth right here so for instance if there's any wet leaves that are stuck anywhere or if you wanted to use this on your grass and get all of those leaves off so you can do it but these are just little simple things that you cannot find in other blowers because blowers are just blowers right now you have that three in one and when you're using it as a vacuum it's going to mulch all of that which is easy to dispose of or for you to go ahead and use as that mulch like we've said before all right
We are down to our last two minutes. If you'd like to get it or anything else in the show, uh, continue to shop with us on hsn.com. Uh, and as I said before, although, by the way, we are kind of working up a sweat here a little bit. It's a little, sh yeah. it's a little Wait, bit still warm. Well, it. it's a little bit warm still here in Florida and the sun is shining directly on our faces. So as we're outside, but as I said to you before, no matter where you live in this country, fall is here officially, whether it's not, doesn't feel like that or not, it's here. And you know that it, it's so funny how all of a sudden, like even here, Within a month, the temperature yeah. will drop 15 to 20 degrees, and it'll happen. Yeah, no. If you're up north, it'll drop even more than that. If you live up in the northern states, you know how cold it gets up there, and you know those leaves start coming down, and it's sort of like every man and woman for himself. You're trying to keep oh, up. Yeah. your property clear. You're trying to keep it clean. This is the way to do it. Yeah, I was living in Minnesota for a few years, and I had a decent size, decent size yard. I was renting, and they, the, 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 the uh, landlords hired five people to come and blow all the leaves yeah. off and then blow them away into the little woods. Five people. But that's a big yard, and then they, right. what do they do? They put them into bags, and all of a sudden I had 30 bags yeah. up in the front of the yard. You can do this yourself. You don't, you're not saying whether or not you live on an acreage of land, but this is something that's yeah. lightweight that you can use to use on your front patio, by your decks, by your pool, so those grass clippings don't end up in your pool, so those leaves on your driveway don't end up staining that, those nice pavers on the driveway. These are the little things that you can do, and then use that vac to go ahead and do all the touch-up work around your house and around the front stairs, and of course, so you can go ahead and use that beautiful well, Way, that's, that's how easy it is to put the bag on to affix the bag. You simply just stretch it over and hook it on. It's really easy. I, like I said, this is where it's ideal. Obviously, if you've got you know 150 pounds of leaves, you know the, you got to you got to get the vacuum out before that happens because this is kind of like just to get the debris around the area. It'll mulch it up mm -hmm. and then it'll be in. The, it comes in this bag. You simply unzip it, dump it out. Um, you can either put it in bags and get rid of it. I always say put it in your garden beds and things like that. But don't wait until you have so many leaves on your lawn, right? That, that you gotta pull out a giant, I mean, get to it. The, the thing about this, this product, use it a couple times a week just to do your quick cleanups and you'll love it for that. All right, Justin, great job as Thank always. You, I appreciate guy. that. You've got a little bit of cleaning up here to finish up. I'll go help uh, your neighbors out. I, yeah, I'll just I'll walk away <laughs> like I do if I follow. I don't do that to my neighbors. Well, I'm a good neighbor. Anyway, by the way, our today's special, how many gone just in this last airing, Jared? It had to be at least oh, almost, almost 2,000 already gone. Uh, and it's a great way to be able to protect the inside of your house. You need to have those those uh, rugs in front of your doorway. Easy to clean, just rinse it out with a hose. They hold five, six, seven, eight pounds of grime before you even see it. You're gonna love these, the best quality. These are official AstroTurf mats. Uh, they are $24.95, our today's special if you wanna pick them up and all colors are still available. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, Justin, thank you for being here. Well, Robin's coming up next. Oh, she's got food favorites. Love that. Love Robin, love food. So it's all good. <laughs> uh,